Hey you guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. If you do not know me, I am a mindset coach who loves to help people um, uncover their limiting beliefs so they can manifest what they want in their reality. I've been doing this for a long time. Description's in the link below if you're interested in working together. So in any way, you guys, today we're gonna talk about revision. All right, I wanna tell you a story. It works, okay? In fact, I'm thinking about doing a revision meditation, so comment down below if you want me to do that um, because I think it'll really help you guys because it helped me. So revision, um, remember, there really is no time. Time is an illusion. We can change things and change areas of our past by revising, okay? It comes from a Neville Goddard um, does this technique, his technique, and it really works, okay? And I'm sure other um, teachers have it as well. So what you want to do is you want to go back to an event. Now this could be like, um, I've used this for several things. So I'm going to use an example from my own life today um, on this video that I had used a couple days ago and it worked miraculously. So again, I intend this will help you guys. And if you guys want me to do a meditation on this to really help you guys kind of separate from your identity and realize that everything is just pure consciousness. So we can revise anything. So you can revise it. Let's say you had a breakup, an argument, um, maybe an email or a letter that you don't like. Okay. Um, it could be something that you don't like. You heard some news that you didn't like. All right. So what's holding it in place is your memory of that and believing that it's solid, real, and true. But it's not because as we know, we can go back because there's really no time. It's an illusion. So we want to connect from our stories of believing things are so real, solid, and they're not malleable. So they are because they actually, none of it, everything can be changed. Okay. The only reason why it's not changing is because you keep telling that same story. And I have a video on that. Um, I will link it in the description below for that as well. Stop telling the same story over and over again, because it's going to create your reality. But for the lack um, of time and for this video, purpose, we're going to talk about revising. So you're going to revise anything. So just think of something that you want to revise. All right. And maybe you didn't like how it went. So what you're doing already, you guys, is you're telling that same story over and over and over in your head and you're hearing the same things. Okay. So let's say you got a letter in the mail. You're reading that over and over again and this, believing that's true. Or let's say you got an argument with your SP and you're continuously hearing them say the same things over and over again. And then you're probably also like beating yourself up or blaming yourself or replaying the argument over and over again and thinking, how can I change it? How can I change it? How can I fix this? Well, the great news is you can fix it through manifestation because manifestation is what can change every problem that you have or so-called problem that you think in your reality. So you want to go back to whatever that was and revise to hear what you want to hear. Okay. So whatever somebody told you, you want to go back from that moment in time and revise what you heard. Okay. Now you don't have to believe this. This is a caveat. So you do not have to believe any of this. You just want to believe that your thoughts can change just because you are pure consciousness and our thoughts are always transmitting to other people as well. I have another video that, um, it's called, I think thought transmission. Anyway, for this video, we're gonna talk about revision. So you wanna think about that. And like I said, what's holding it in place is your belief that is so solid and real and that your belief of hearing it over and over again and keep telling that story over and over again because as we know, what you focus on grows and it keeps creating your reality. And what usually happens is we become very worried about it and we keep like thinking what's the solution, how could, um, why did I say this? Why they say this? What did I do? Maybe I need to change who I am. Maybe I need to change this. Maybe I need to take some action, various different things. So what you really need to do again is go back to that, whatever just happened. And you want to hear what you want to hear, wanted to hear or come up with a solution to that. So I've done this twice. Um, recent, well, one wasn't too recent, but I'll tell you about that. I had bad news from one of my daughter. My daughters, um, did not, she did not make the basketball team. So when I got the letter that said, Hey, so-and-so did not make the basketball team. These are the skills that she needs to work on. Well, I did not take that as solid and real, um, and or as truth. So I revised it and said, she did make the basketball team. We're so glad to have her on the basketball team. And guess what? she comes home from school the next day. She's like, guess what? They made a mistake. 
I am on the basketball team. So what I did was I didn't take what was that as solid and real. I just revised it to I wanted um, what I wanted to hear, what I wanted to see, basically. Also what I wanted to hear from my daughter as well and kept, you know, replaying that scene in my head. Secondly, the other day I had received some bad news. This is just more recent. I received some bad news on a phone call. And in that conversation, I could feel myself getting all this anxiety coming up with it, right? Feeling anxious. What do I need to do with the 3D? How did I create this? Um, what should I do? Worry, 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 worry. And then I remembered revision. That's the reason why I'm doing this video today is I remembered I can revise this entire thing. It's not solid and real. Hang on, guys. I need to step with something. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's what I did. I went back and reminded myself. So, you know, I, I kind of got in a meditative state, um, realized that I was just pure consciousness, that nothing was solid and real, kind of eased my anxiety. I, um, you know, regulated my nervous system, did some breathing, and then went into my imagination and started revising that phone conversation. Okay. And to the point of where I got to hear what I wanted to hear, which was I wanted some peaceful news. I wanted something to go in a harmonious, peaceful way instead of the anxiety that was had happened. So I got a phone call, something bad had happened. My anxiety was going through the roof, worried about that phone call, worried about the outcome of that phone call, feeling like I need to take all this direction of the 3D. And this was at night. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I went to sleep. So I'm, again, I remembered revision. So like I said, those are my steps, regulated my nervous system reminding myself everything comes from within and everything can be changed. So I went back to myself in that phone call, hearing everything that I was he hearing in that phone call, started revising what the phone call, how the phone call went, revised how the phone call ended, came up with the solution of what the solution of the problem I thought was happening from that phone call, came up with that solution. So I revised what I heard and kept revising it, revising it, revising it in my head, in my imagination, okay? And literally, I kid you not, I think it was maybe like 10, 15 minutes after doing that meditation and doing that, I got a phone call <laughs> from the same place and they said verbatim, you guys, verbatim, what I had revised. I'm getting chills. Like it was just, I mean, I know this works. It's just, I haven't done this for a while and I just wanted to come on here because I had forgotten about this technique and how like powerful it can be. So you can use this for any certain thing in your reality. And as I create some courses, I'll put some revision techniques in there. And I can also do a meditation as well um, because it is so powerful because verbatim, they, they call me back and said exactly what I wanted to hear. All right. And you guys can do the same thing. Um, so just remember the key here is to remember when something shows up in your reality, it's not always solid and real. Okay. You can change it because your consciousness, your thoughts are going out, which is going to influence everybody else. Change, you know, a whole bunch of different events, different things will have to arise because you do not have to figure out the how, you just need to go in your brain, remember your head, your say I'm consciousness, relax yourself, go to the scene of how you wanted it to be. Okay, because you're, repl you're replaying it anyway in your head what you don't want and that's what's keeping it alive. So you're going to devise a scene that's going to imply that it's done whether that be an affirmation whether that be a you know inner conversation <clears throat> you're going to want to do that so for me it was like kind of an inner conversation of hearing what i wanted to hear and what my intentions were so i was like okay if this was this way this is what i would have heard so i started going with that with those you know replaying that instead and then also my intentions what would other people say so i was intending to hear what other people would say what would i feel this is what i would feel so that created all those tones of reality to make that change okay because this if i would have gone this way it wouldn't have gone that way it wouldn't have you know changed into the revision if i would have stayed with a story of anxiety things can't change this is a hot mess holy hell you know that sort of thing which a lot of us do and i can be guilty of it doing it as well because it feels so real in the moment it's again stopping ourselves remind ourselves that we're the creator of reality our reality we can change it so stopping it and then going into the revising like I just said, through those steps. All right, and you guys can do this for anything. Just give it a try. 
um, what do you have to lose, right? Uh, if you guys want some more help on that too, um, definitely check out the description link below for coaching. I'd love to help you guys. Um, if you need further help with that, please, why don't you guys also comment below about any revision that you've tried, okay? Any revision that's worked for you. Um, yeah, comment below because it really helps other people out too. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and have a good day. Thanks, guys.